After nearly a year of bad news about the 737 MAX, Boeing hoped for better headlines today with the first flight of the 777X. But bad weather scrapped that flight for the second day in a row. And Cairo 7's Graham Johnson is live right now in Everett. And Graham, this first flight will be a big deal whenever it happens. And Boeing, Monique, will try again tomorrow. Across the runway here at Payne Field, you can see the 777X, the tail of it there. It's a plane so big, the wingtips fold up. The company hoped to fly it for the first time today, but it was not to be. This afternoon, Boeing's new 777X taxied back from the runway. The first flight scrapped for today. People who came for the big moment headed home. I'm disappointed, yeah, but I guess we'll have to try another day. Andrea Nikolaev's husband works at Boeing. I have been out here the whole time with my kids and it was raining and cold. Rain moved in and out as the plane sat for about three hours at the head of the runway. But the wind is what led Boeing to cancel today's first flight, which was already postponed today because of weather. Bill Carmen works for a Boeing supplier. A little bit disappointed, but it's understandable. The weather conditions are not uh, extremely good for a pilot taking an airplane up for the first time. The company is betting big on the 777X, the newest version of the popular 777 widebody. Washington competed hard to build the plane in Everett. The legislature gave Boeing a record $8.7 billion dollar tax break. This airplane to me, it's, it's the flagship of the airline fleets, the big airlines around the world, and it's really the marquee airplane. It's a great um, representation of the great things that we can do as a company. Boeing, of course, is in need of some good news after the 737 MAX crisis. The company plans to try again to fly the plane back there tomorrow morning. Live in Everett, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.